Hello everyone, my name is Gerald and in this video I will talk about streams in Dart programming language. Streams provide an asynchronous sequence of data and these data could be in the form of user-generated events or data that is read from files. We could think of streams as a tunnel, wherein the tunnel itself can be called stream controller. And we could push inputs into this stream controller or tunnel through the sync. And on the other end, we could listen to the outputs of our tunnel through the stream. Now I will show you how it works in the Dart pad. I will import Dart async so we will be able to use the different methods related to the streams. I will type in void main like so. And then now I will set up the tunnel. To do that, I will type in final tunnel and then stream controller. Now that we have the stream controller or the tunnel, <laughs> let's push in some data inside it. So tunnel dot sync dot add. And then I'll pass in string like so. As soon as I click this run button right here, you will notice that there is no output shown in the console. The reason for that is we did not set up a way for us to listen to the inputs that are passed in to the tunnel. Now I will type in tunnel dot stream dot listen and then I will pass in a function inside this so we could define a way to listen to the data. Let's say name. And let's just print the name. If I click run again, mouse one is shown in the console. Now let's add a little bit of complexity. Let's say we have a checker which accepts a stream controller. and a string of type name or type string name string so if and then let's add a condition we're in uh, we could force this function to show an error if it doesn't match our uh, criteria if the name is equals to dog then let's throw an error or let's pass in an error message to our sync. So the way to do that is controller.sync.addError. And then let's type in name is not a mouse. So otherwise, if the name is aside from dog, then controller dot sync dot add and then the name. Okay, now let's try to use this checker function. Let's say, okay, tunnel 
so we have the string controller now now let's add mouse to okay our function is working correctly now let's try to force uh, this to show an error instead now I will just copy this and paste it below and instead of mouse2 I will type in dog which explicitly violates the condition of our if statement inside the checker function if I click run we have an uncaught error uh, which states that the dog is not a mouse luckily inside the listen uh, method right here we could pass in an on error property which enables us to uh, handle any errors that are um, that are passed in to our tunnel so print error and then error like so if i click run again you will notice that our error is being handled nicely now one last thing of about stream controllers or streams in dart we could also close this stream in case we do not need this at all and to do that we could just simply close this and once it is closed I could actually or we could actually handle this through the on done property and in this one I will just use a simple error function instead that prints a message that says the tunnel is closed like so and there we go so the tunnel is closed if I accidentally add in another or pushed another value to our sink let's try to do that then it this one will throw an error bad state cannot add event after closing and that's it for streams so if you want to learn more about streams you could just check out the uh, documentations about streams in the dart website and that's it for me. Thank you for watching and I hope you learned a lesson or two about streams in Dart programming language.